are making our way to the north end. Right now we're kind of in the middle of the city where most of the high rises are, but we'll show you what it looks like along the way. Quincy Market. It's a big tourist area. There are is lots of shopping and we're just on our way to Little Italy. Okay, so anyone that knows us, here's us talking about Boston quite often. We like this city a lot. It's one of our favorites actually. Yeah, this is our fourth time here, I believe, so we're becoming relatively familiar with it. I think what it comes down to is, is we've said this before in many vlogs, our kind of city are the ones that you can walk around. Uh, our favorite method of transportation is walking. So whenever we're in a city where we can get to a lot of different locations relatively quickly within 30 minutes or, or less, that's our favorite kind of place and that's pretty much what Boston is. Not only that, it has a lot more to offer. So one of my favorite things about Boston is as you're walking, you come across all these really fantastic public places like the commons, the uh, gardens, and this little area that we're in right now. Yeah, and tomorrow I think we're going to go run Charles River and that's another one of those places that we're going to hope to show you guys. Yeah. Are the buildings amazing but the food is supposed to be spectacular and that's where we're going right now hey cheers i grabbed a peroni which is an italian beer i didn't go so italian but i got a white sangria perfect on a hot day oh thank you so sometimes in life you have to make a sacrifice and sometimes you have to order salad. Although this looks really delicious so maybe not that much of a sacrifice. was so much fun. Right now we are trying to find a tap room because when you're in Massachusetts, not just Boston in general, craft beer is where it's at. We also just happen to love craft beer. Look at all those magical taps. So going back to why we love this city, you walk into this tap room, there's really great people and the first message you see is that. And, and we stand for the exact same thing in case you didn't know it. I'm sure you, you knew that though. This is almost like a little piece of heaven for me. Look at the draft list. This is all local craft beer that I don't know. How will I decide? Okay, I went for this time around, it's a sour Kolsch. Um, I, I don't think I've ever had a sour Kolsch and I know my beer. What did you get? I got a lime Pilsner. Alright, you sample first. That's good, nice and summery, very limey, so you have to like lime in order to drink this. Alright, so the Kolsch. It's very light as well. It's from Pennsylvania um, and a sour beer. It seems, seems like an odd combo, but you know what? It works very well, especially in the summer in this heat. It's like 30 degrees outside. All right, guys, the tap room was great. Right now, we're in Beacon Hill. Such a cool neighborhood. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to walk through, we're going to show you a bit of it, and then we're going back to our hotel so you can see what that's like. So why is Beacon Hill cool? It's got all these little narrow streets. There's not a lot of people around when you get into the alleys. There's really, really cool buildings. Oh, this street is so pretty. 
at the light, I can play with the light. So if someone were to say to me, Anna, here is all the money that you'd ever need, what neighborhood would you like to live in, anywhere, Beacon Hill would be really up there for me, like out of anywhere, out of everywhere. It's the cutest neighborhood, it's super quiet, there's hardly any traffic, but you're like right pretty much downtown, and you have these cute like Instagramable houses everywhere. She's totally right. It's hard to, like, what, what's the word we're looking for? It's cute, old, Instagrammable, YouTubeable. <laughs> it's YouTube. Am I the first to say YouTubeable? <laughs> smack dab in the middle of the Boston Commons. We've got this nice little cool lake. I don't, I don't know what that is, but uh, we're gonna make our way through. There's some cool sights along the way. So I bet you not many people from Boston could tell you this fact. Nova Scotia, which is where we're from in Canada, sends a Christmas tree down to Boston every year for the Boston Common Christmas. What they probably could tell you is there is a merry-go-round here, but you can't go on it right now. It's right behind you, but but we can't go on. We came here just for this. Now we do. Guys, check out the view of this place. It really doesn't get much better than that. So, if you guys are wondering where we are right now, we're at the Revere Hotel, right in the middle of Boston. It's in the perfect location. For instance, over there, that's the Boston Common. Just this way, that's kind of the north end. South is, of course, behind me. You can walk anywhere within minutes. This place is in the perfect location. We'll put it in the description below if you want to check it out. So now we're going to hang out at the hotel for a little while, get ready, and head out for dinner. We'll see you soon. Okay, we're back. We had a quick regroup. We're heading out for dinner. We're going to a place called Myers and Chang, and it is like a really sought after place in the city. We booked it a couple days ago. We got it. If you're wondering where that is, it's actually in the south end of Boston, which has some of the best restaurants in all of the city. Trevor just ordered a Xing Pao. Have you had one since China? I have not had one since China. It's flashback guys. Okay guys, here we go. That's the first taste of Xing Hao, Xing Chao. I can't even say it anymore. Since last year when we were in China, I'll link it in the cards right here if you want to watch some of that stuff. All right, guys, the main just showed up. It's some Dan Dan noodles, and they're extra spicy, and we cannot wait to dive in. And I was saying it's like a flavor we had never had before. I kind of agree. I have to think this is like one of the heartier Chinese dishes that you can get. It almost tastes like a goulash, which makes it sound like nothing like Chinese, but to me, there's a ton of heat. But there's meat, the noodles are udon. It kind of feels like a pasta, but it's not at all. This is really incredible. If you're in South Boston, you have to come to this place and try this. All right guys, it's another day. It's beautiful out. We're on our way through the gardens, on our way to the Charles River. We'll try to show you a little piece of it now. The gardens are so beautiful. We love it there. Now we're down at the Charles River. Yeah, this place you can run for miles right up and down the whole river and around to the other side. Behind us is Cambridge over there. Really 
good run, but now we have to go back to our hotel and get ready for brunch. So we came over to Cambridge, a place called Little Donkey for brunch. We're starting it off right with the Bloody Mary. <laughs> Food has showed up. I got this torta, which is massive. Look at the size of this. Wow, it's gonna be a challenge. What do you got over there? I got chilaquiles, and it's huge. So that was absolutely delicious. If you're here like on a Saturday or Sunday, go to Little Donkey back there. Since we're over in Cambridge, we're gonna take a little stroll around and see what we can find. Cambridge is best known for being a university town. Of course, Harvard is here as well as MIT. And anytime there are young people around means there's lots of cool hip places and really good spots to eat, like Little Donkey, the place we were just at. If you're in Boston, it's worth coming over to check out Cambridge, for sure. All right, guys, the vlog is probably long enough already. We're gonna keep exploring. We're gonna call it right here, but don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and leave us a comment because we love when you do that. Hit the subscribe button as well. All right, guys, that's it. From Boston, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Anna has gone right into the pancake. No, I don't want to say right into the pancake, so far. <laughs> I'll say I'll say that and then I'll say don't forget to like the video and give it a big thumbs up and then you can go all right guys. Yeah. What did I just say at first? Uh, 